Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel, just here and there. This is Ronald. My previous video was about the torchlight procession, which happens every day in Lourdes, France, from April to October at 9 p.m. If you are new to my channel or if you missed this video, the link is in the description box below. And in this video, I will show you the Eucharistic procession, which also happens every day from April to October at 5 p.m. Eucharist is the source and summit of all Christian life. During Eucharistic procession, the Christian people gives public witness of faith and to their devotion towards this sacrament. This holy Eucharistic procession begins here in the century meadow and ends at the Basilica of St. Paul's X with time for the prayer of adoration of the Blessed Sacrament. Go and tell the priest that a chapel should be built here and people should come here in procession. This is what Virgin Mary asked Bernadette during an apparition. So every day from April to October at 5 pm, the Lourdes pilgrims respond to the request of the Virgin Mary by gathering for Eucharistic procession. And this procession dates back to 1874. Coming to Lourdes for the first time means first of all looking at and discovering this place where Virgin Mary appeared 18 times in 1858. It means feeling the faith of thousands of pilgrims who respond to our Lady's call to come here in procession and observing the hope of all the sick pilgrims who come here for little comfort and also grace of healing. At Lourdes, the first miracle took place after the apparition of the Virgin Mary to Bernadette in 1858. Since then, thousands of declarations of cures have been collected by an institution that is unique in the world. Medical Bureau of the Sanctuary. 70 cures have been recognized as miracles by the church so far. Declaration of a miracle takes place in 4 decisive steps. And the doctor's work and voting must meet a set of 7 criteria. I will give all the detailed information in my next video, so stay tuned. Here, any processions always takes place regardless of the weather. The Lord's pilgrims is prudent and knows when to carry an umbrella. This video is for everyone, plus mainly to the people who are sick, bedridden and can't make pilgrimage and yet want to seek blessings and miracles from Mother Mary. Have a blessed time. Duration of this Eucharistic procession is 1 to 1 and a half hour depending on the crowd and it ends here at the Basilica of St. Paul's X, informally known as Underground Basilica. This Basilica of St. Paul's X is the largest and most controversial of the Domain Churches. It was completed in 1958 in anticipation of the enormous crowds expected in Lourdes. The controversy of this church consists of the fact that it is modern, concrete building and it is almost entirely underground. They have spent nearly $5.6 million to build this basilica. Here there will be a prayer of adoration of the Blessed Sacrament followed by the blessings of the pilgrims, the sick, first and foremost.
I hope you like this video. Hit the like button, share and subscribe if you like and I'll come up with a more interesting video next time. Until then, see you. Bye.